Thanks for joining us at the Plainfield Guilford Township Public Library. Today, I'll be walking you through how to make three different ocean animals out of pipe cleaners. The first ocean animal we're going to be making today is this lovely little octopus. To make the octopus, you're going to need four pipe cleaners. I've chosen to do two different colors, so I've got two purple pipe cleaners and two green pipe cleaners. We're going to start out with two of our pipe cleaners. I've chosen to do both of the purple ones, and we're going to make a little X. Where they join at the center, we're going to twist twice. This joins them together, and I'm going to put that aside for just a second. We're going to do the same thing with the other two pipe cleaners. So for these green ones, I'm just going to make an X with them, and at the center, we'll twist twice. Next up, you're going to need your two X's. So I'm going to stack them on top of each other so that the legs go opposite. So to join these two together, all we're going to do is for each of these pairs of colors, we're going to twist in one direction, just one time. So now we're going to create the head of the octopus. How I'm doing this is I'm pinching between my thumb and my pointer finger and curling my finger up as I go along the pipe cleaner. Once you've got all of them curved a little bit, just at the beginning, we're going to bend them together to create that head shape. So I'm going to take two opposite pipe cleaners. So if you can see, I'm going to work with these two purple ones. And on the underside, I'm gonna unbend these for just a second so that you can see. On the underside, after about an inch, I'm just going to twist them together once. We'll be twisting a bunch of these other ones around here, so we don't wanna to do too many twists because that'll make it too bulky. So we'll start doing that for the rest of these as well. And try to make sure that you get the same distance from the top of the head to the twist, just to make sure that the head ends up even. Okay, so we'll just gather this last one to the center here make sure the distance is good, and do our final twist. And for this one, I am gonna do two twists, just to make sure that I have the legs lining up properly as they should. So now that we've got this star shape on the bottom here, we're done with the body. We'll just do some wiggles in the legs to create a fun shape for the tentacles. So we'll do that same pinching motion we did earlier to get some curve. And you can just go in whichever direction you'd like. I like to switch it up and kind of do some going in opposite directions. And once you're done with that, you've got your lovely little octopus made out of pipe cleaners. And next up, we have this lovely little fish here. So I've chosen to do it in two different colors, one for the body and then one for the face, the fins, and then the tail. Um, you could do this all in one color if you'd like. And for this one, we're just going to need three pipe cleaners. You'll need two in whichever color you want the tail and the fins and the face to be, and then one for the color of the body. We're going to start out with one of these red ones here, and this is what we're going to use to make the shape of the body first. So I'm going to bend this in half to find the midway point. Once we found that midway point right there, we're going to use this half the pipe cleaner to make the shape of the body that we'll build onto later. So we'll make the classic fish shape that you've probably seen before, where it's just a loop on this set, and then it bends and crosses here. I'm going to try and make sure that the si this open side right here is a little bit shorter than the side that's still connected to the rest of the pipe cleaner. And then I'm just going to bend it twice so it's nice and secure. So this remaining length that we've got here is going to be used to make Part of the tail and then we're going to make the top fin out of it. So to do this right at that nice crease point we had earlier and you can borrow a little bit more space from the other half if you need to, we're going to make a triangle with the rest of the bottom and we'll just have this wrap around itself on the bottom part and then this can just go along the top part of the head about one third of the way up the fish, I'm going to use my thumb to create a sharp angle going back towards the tail of the fish. And then about halfway up, maybe a little bit less than halfway up the remaining part, I'm going to bend it back down 
And using this tiny little bit of the end here, I'm going to wrap it around the body of the fish. And then we've got our top fin made. So now that we've got the overall shape of the fish, we're going to go in and start making the body. So this is where I'm going to use my accent color here. So I'll go in with my yellow, and first we just need to join it to the body. Doesn't really matter if you do it on the top or on the bottom, just make sure it's back by the tail. So I'll just leave myself a little bit of length, and then just twist around that tiny little tail just a couple times to make sure it's nice and secure. And so what we're going to do to create the body is we'll just start wrapping this around the shape we've created. Make sure too that you don't pull too much on the outline of the fish shape, otherwise it's going to distort the shape that we've made. So you just wanna make sure that you're slightly loosely wrapping around the body and then you give it a nice pinch to make sure it's just how we want. And then here, as we cross, now we're getting into this top fin area. What we're actually going to do is we're going to thread this side of the pipe cleaner in through the center here. And then we'll just go around. I'm going to thread it through one more time on this one. You may not need to though. It's all up to depending on where you put that fin up at the top. And I'll just keep on going around until I'm finished with the yellow color. Now if you'll notice, this isn't enough to exactly go around a whole nother time. So I'm just going to wrap the little bit of length. And then here on the back side, I'm just going to tuck it in to where we've already wrapped. So then that sharp point isn't sticking out anywhere. So now we finished wrapping the body part. So now that we've finished wrapping the body of the fish, we're going to start wrapping the face and working on these side fins over here. So we'll connect it up here towards the start of the head, just like we did last time. Just wrap it a couple times to join the two pipe cleaners together. And then we'll just wrap it a couple times around. until we filled in that head section. So once you've kind of got everything filled in, I'm gonna have you grab your pair of scissors, leave yourself maybe about half an inch of space, and then go ahead, give your pipe cleaner a cut. And then once you've got that, you're going to tuck this section into where we've just wrapped up the face. So now we've got the face wrapped. So what we're going to do now is work on these two fins over on the side here. So I'm just going to bend this in half real quick. I'm going to crease here at the center, and this is going to be a guideline for us as we're doing these fins in the center. So I'm just going to take one end of the pipe cleaner and I'm going to push it straight through the body in between where we've done some wrappings until we get to that halfway point. Once we've gotten to that halfway point, I'm just gonna have you bend and wrap this around until you've got however long of a fin you'd like. And you can just bend it around and slide it through the body to the other side. We'll use that to fill in the fin later. So same thing on this other side. Ignore the tail end that we've got from this other side. Wrap it around. I honestly just mimic the exact curve that we've gotten for this other one so that they're nice and symmetrical. And once you've done that, you'll take this remaining length here and just put it through the other side. And with the remaining length that we've shoved through on the other sides, you can just connect this loose end over here to the end of the fin and just give it one little wrap and pinch and that helps fill in the shape of the fin a little bit. So I'll do it on the other side so you can see too. So this loose end right here, 
we're just going to bring it down and then pinch it around the end of the fin, give it a little bit of filler, and then we're done with that. So the last thing that we're going to do is work on the shaping of the fish. So for the tail, I'm just going to crease in the bottom a little bit and then flare out the top. I'll maybe bring it out a little bit so it takes up a little bit more space, however you want it to look. For this top fin, I'm going to fluff up the top a little bit and bend it back towards the tail. And for these fins, I'm probably actually not going to do a whole lot because I like the shape of them. I'll probably bend them back a little bit towards the tail, but that's all I'll really do. And this is nice because it'll actually stand up on its own too if you bend these out a little bit. And there you go. Now you have your pipe cleaner and fish. Next up, we'll be doing a pipe cleaner stingray. So for this, you're going to need four pipe cleaners in whichever color you'd like. I'm going ahead with gray today. We're just going to take one of these and create a loop using about one third of the pipe cleaner. And then once you've got that, cross them right here and just do couple twists. And this loop is going to be the body of the stingray. So we're going to find the midway point. You can just pull it and it'll flatten itself and tell you where the midway point is, which is really nice. And then we'll go up maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch on either side of this loop and we're going to bend it and pull it out. And we're gonna do that on the other side too. Now that we've got an arrow, we're gonna start rounding out the sides here and bringing these points back a little bit more so that we've got a spade shape. And this is going to be the body of the stingray that we'll be wrapping around. So with all of this length that we've got remaining here, I'm going to go down about two inches and fold it back in on itself. And then right here where it meets the body, I'm going to loop it through the body where it loops around and I'll just wrap it around once. And I'm just going to wrap the tip of this side just to make sure that I use it up and make sure that it's being useful. So this is where we're just going to start doing wrapping techniques in different sides and directions. So I'm going to start out with this side and I'll connect it by going down here on this little flared out section. I'll just use a little bit of the length at the end of the pipe cleaner to wrap around the body once or twice, make sure it's nice and stiff. And then I'll start wrapping around the base. One thing that you want to be really careful to do when you're wrapping this is to make sure that you're not going too tight. If you're too tight on the sides of the pipe cleaner, you're actually going to end up pushing it in and it'll end up lopsided like that. So you'll have one side that's really straight and the other side is going to be really rounded and it's not going to look symmetrical and it's going to look more just like an arrow instead of an actual stingray. So to make sure that I don't do this, what I actually do, instead of bending around the pipe cleaner itself, I put my finger just underneath there and I wrap around my finger instead. And I'll do the same thing here at the bottom, is I'll make sure that I'm wrapping around my finger and using my finger to create the crease, rather than trusting the pipe cleaner to be sturdy enough to handle that on its own. And we'll just keep on doing that for the length of the pipe cleaner. Once you come up to the section that has the tail, you can actually just go to the opposite side and wrap around that. Once you've come to the end of the pipe cleaner where you don't really have enough to make a full loop around again, I'll just have you get as far as you can, wrap it around the other side, and then just tuck it behind where we've already wrapped, just to make sure that the sharp points don't stick out. And now we'll go in and I'm actually going to start wrapping from the other side this time. And same thing here too. When we can't make a full loop around, we're just going to tuck this into the section that we've already wrapped. 
and now you don't see it. So we'll go in with our final pipe cleaner now. To connect it, I'm actually just going to stick it into the section that we've already worked into. It's secure enough with all of the other wrapping that we're going to do to where we don't really need to worry about it. And I'm actually going to do a triangle and I'm going to get the top of the head. And then once I've got the top of the head, I'm going to thread it through the wrappings that we've already done because we don't need to do the full length of the body anymore. We've already wrapped up those sections. And then here with this remaining little section, it's not enough to make a full loop, so I'll go as far as I can, wrap it around the other side, and then just tuck it in as we have been. So now we've got the basic shape of the stingray. So now we just need to do the shaping part. So we're going to shape the tail by just adding a nice little curve to it. So for this shaping part, we're going to create a dent in the center of the stingray, and then we'll pinch down these side flaps. And then you've got your stingray. 